Well, welcome back. The COVID-19 lockdown has stripped many people of an income. Some are saying the Unemployment Insurance Fund has been slow off the mark in distributing its funds. The UIF Commissioner Tabo Homaraping joins us now to explain where they're at in the process of getting money to those who've needed, who need it and those who've applied. He joins us now. Mr. Commissioner, good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. You've obviously been paying out millions of rand to people who need help, they need it urgently. Where are you in dealing with the applications? Have you been able to pay out the vast majority of applications that you've received? Uh, good evening, uh, Stephen. It's good to be back on your show. Uh, I can say with confidence, we've been able to pay over 3.5 million South Africans who've applied. And I'm talking about now that there's about 305,000 companies that applied for these 3.5 million South Africans. We've already paid 18 billion rands for April alone, and with respect to the May payments, we've already paid 2 billion rands, which brings our payments to date to about over 20.1 billion rands. Sure, okay, so when you put the numbers like that, uh, you say that over, uh, uh, what was the total number of people who actually applied for help as opposed to the total number of people that you've actually given money to so far? Uh, in, in total, it's 525,000 uh, companies have applied. But there's still a couple of companies that are still um, fixing their declarations because some of them applied but didn't have their records or on our database. So we're still cleaning those up. But the 305,000 companies have been paid to date. And this is only for April. And talking about June, there's already 52,000 companies that have been paid. Some people do complain about no, delays. I meant June. Uh, I meant for May, sorry. Okay, no. Even I'm with you. Some people will complain about delays, and you can imagine the anxiety. People are used to being able to earn their own income. Suddenly the lockdown comes, they aren't able to. They're told to apply to you for help. It's the only place they can apply, so off they go. They don't receive the money that they qualify for. What kind of problems are people generally hap happening? Uh, to, to, to put it another way, what's the best way to apply to make sure you don't have a problem? Uh, the, the best way to, to apply is to apply online. And once we paid, you find that there's employees that apply for 10 and we're able to pay two. Because the other eight you cannot find on our database, they have not been declared before. And what we're saying to companies, go to www.ufiling.co.za and declare the eight employees that are not found on our database. In that way, the process is quicker because when you, when you, when you declare on, the, on our U-Filing platform, it automatically up, updates the database and there's an automated process of calculating, and within three days, we are able to pay you. Okay, are you companies that have submitted full information, we pay them within 48 hours. Okay. Are you finding that your systems are now actually able to deal with the load? I mean, when this started, you, like everybody else, like you, like I, uh, like government, were caught unawares. We didn't expect this would have to happen. Thankfully, you actually, you, you actually had too much money in your fund. There's a, a long story behind that, but you did. Um, your system for paying it out, though, is it now actually up to speed? You're finding that you're able to deal with this much better than you could say six weeks ago. Oh, yeah, that's true, Stephen. In the beginning, we struggled. I think like all of us, it was new things to us, and there was so much pressure. And I think what made this even worse was the fact that we had fewer people on the ground because people had to stay home. So we, we needed to develop the system fast. I think within a span of five days, we were able to launch a new technology. In the beginning, we received about 39,000, and from 39,000, we could only process 34. Now you can imagine the magnitude of that problem. And then the, 30, the over 38,000 that you could not process, we had to send back to employers because their form, their forms are completed incorrectly. They didn't complete all the necessary sheets that we had provided. They had not signed agreements. And we tell it, it would be better to automate the whole process. And since it was automated, things started to move faster. We had originally given ourselves 10 days to process, but once it was automated, at worst, we process within 48 hours if everything is complete, and at best, we can do within 24 hours. You've raised the stakes for yourself. Everyone's going to expect this all the time now, Mr. Commissioner. Um, I must ask you, foreign nationals, there seems to be a bit of a complicated question here about who qualifies and who doesn't. If a foreign national was working and is now unable to work during the lockdown or wasn't able to work, would they qualify for help from you? Oh, yes, Stephen. In, in the beginning, we had a problem with confirming 
their legal status in the country. And we had to find ways to confirm. We, we use our, our counterpart at SARS, we use our counterpart at um, uh, Home Affairs to, complain, to, to compare their legal status in the country. And I can give you some good news. That is, I'm talking to you now, we've already paid 114,000 foreign nationals. We've already spent all, all, all more than half a billion just paying foreign nationals. And our payment continues. So as we receive them and as we clear them via either um, Home Affairs or via SARS, we are paying them as they come. So we've already paid half a billion rents towards our foreign nationals, uh, brothers and sisters, who've contributed to this economy. Mr. Commissioner, I really appreciate the time. Thank you very much indeed. The Commissioner of the Unemployment Insurance Fund there, Tobaho Marapeng.